Hello YouTube, this is Chesco from STEM APKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to continue where we left off in the last tutorial. Uh, as you remember we took some uh, Fourier transform of images. Uh, but like I promised, I, we're going to in the next two tutorials dig a little bit deeper into the Fourier analysis and Fourier coefficients in one dimension and two dimensions. In this tutorial we'll do one dimension and in the next tutorial we'll do two dimensions. I think it is easier to wrap our brain around one dimension first before we dive into the uh, two-dimensional world okay so let's get started um, in I found this good website um, I'm going to include this link in, in the description of the video it shows how Fourier analysis and how he was it, it demonstrates his theory that any periodic signal can be you viewed as a linear composition of sine waves and um, basically you can make a square wave out of sinusoids and as you can see here you know you add one more you add one more and you start seeing the square wave being formed you add more and more that's 11 multiple and now you're getting your square wave and there you go you that's that's very close to the to a square wave and um, it's the whole theory of Fourier analysis, Fourier series, and, uh, and and how they apply to to various engineering disciplines. Uh, I found this nice animation he also um, that explains the relationship between the the unit circle and the trigonometric functions. Because uh, I don't know if you were like me when I was first introduced to to the sinusoids. Uh, they they make a, a a direct relationship in 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 trigonometry uh, only on the right triangle and very little about the unit circle, and as you continue your studies, you realize that this this relationship is also very important because we see it, and in, in nature, uh, in all kinds of phenomena, and that's why I I, um, I found this website I, I included in the video just to to remind us of that relationship between the, the unit circle if you remember from math unit circle is from 0 to 1 as you can see here from 0 to 1 and here it shows the relationship of between the radians and and and, and how it, it it's a it's a nice uh, visualization okay but let's get into the code we're going to get um I I got this website uh from the University of Washington, he does a, a really good job explaining uh, the physics of music. And being that we're doing one dimension, uh, we're going to be using his code. Um, it's, uh, I'm going to be using IPython. I don't know if you remember from uh, the first tutorial, I'd show you how to download this SciPy stack. Well, IPython is part of that SciPy stack, so if you download it, you already have it. If not, go to the website and get it and download it. Once it's downloaded into your computer, in order to use it, all you need to do is open a terminal and uh, enter the following command, IPython notebook PyLab equals inline, so it allows you to graph inside the, the notebook, okay? And hit enter. I'm not going to hit enter because I already have it open, so I don't want to open a second one. So I'm just going to close this. But uh, that's all you need to do. And uh, it will uh, open a, a notebook right in, in your browser. It's a really nice editor. It's a really nice program. Um, go and get it. This is awesome if you don't have it already. But uh, I'm, as you can see, I'm importing NumPy, Matplot, NumPy, SciPy, Matplotlib, and also importing sample, importing the sample class right out of this program, right out of this that I show you in that website. And uh, you can, I'm going to include the code, uh, but just in case you know where to get it, if you need it, you just it's here. And um, I'm going before you you do anything, you need a WAV file. And the way to get a WAV file is um, there's a website on um, da, da, da. Uh, let me this is the one right here. Uh, stay on page. I don't want to leave. Let me open. Let me get it here. It's uh, right here. No tab. 
and it's the this website you can download any sample for free of any instrument out there uh, you just go to this website right here I'm also going to include the link in the description of the video and you can download different notes for each instrument you just download the instrument and, and hit download you can download it as a zip file or you can download it individually okay and uh, once it, it comes as an mp3 and there's not much you can do as an mp3 because you need a WAV file so in order to do a WAV file uh, to convert from an mp3 to a WAV file in order for us to to visualize it inside the IPython notebook you go here if you were using Ubuntu just go to Ubuntu Software Center right here and just enter Audacity it's this program right here it's a great program I use it all the time for editing audio and uh, all different things I mean uh, it's a really nice program and it's free and uh, you can just get it from Software Center, enter, uh, Center and say Audacity and, and you can download it and once you downloaded the, the sample file from this uh, website right here it's gonna you go wherever you downloaded it let's say you download it into it's gonna be an mp3 that looks just like this all you need to do is open with audacity and you open it with audacity once you open it with audacity let me do it here you open with audacity and it's going to open and you can see the waveform right here and all you need to do is hit file export and hit file export and save and it's gonna save it into a WAV file let me do it so you can see it and you just hit OK and that's all you need to do uh, like I said ex file export save and then okay okay and it will convert it into a into a WAV file and once it's converted into a WAV I changed the name as you can see uh, this one was the original mp3 that I got from this website and now I changed the name into a WAV file okay flute 415 into a WAV file and once you have it now you can use it in your program right here and that's what that is and I did that for four instruments I did it for the flute I did it for the sax the violin and the guitar just like he did it in his website right here I just wanted to show you how to do it so you can you're able to do it also and and so but in order like uh, you might have another converter that you can use to convert to wi -Fi. I use audacity but uh, it, um, in there are other ones out there and um, it does let's in order to run in IPython these are cells so in order to run each cell all you need to do is here click right here or you can hit shift enter shift enter and it will run the cell so let's do it so it ran that cell so now it's here now let's run that cell it ran that cell and now let's plot it what let me explain here this is a X label Y label just like we did in our past tutorials and this this is the title of the plot okay let's do it and as you can see this is what the waveform looks like in time and the amplitude it's normalized to one and this program right here it allows you to plot it in three different periods I'm gonna show you right now but um it's a uh, it's a really nice nice program here piece of code here that snippet is really handy and uh, you can change the the time right here you can play around and change the the time period and let's run it shift enter or run and now let's run the plot and there you go three different periods the zooms of, of the waveform at that particular frequency and normal the amplitude being normalized to one okay and I did it I repeated the same sequence I changed uh, for each one of the instruments 
and let's do it for this one now run then plot and that's for the saxophone so you can see it's a lot different from from the flute same frequency but uh, different instruments okay and now let's uh, see what's going on in the three periods and you can see a lot different from the other one it's a it's a really nice uh, let's do violin now and violin as you expected it's a it's you you pluck the string with with the ball and as you can see after you let go it uh, it has a dampening effect it smooths out and you can now let's see in different periods what it does and there you go you have it from different times and you can see what the what it's doing okay now let's do it for the guitar guitar is a little bit different because it's um it's, it's still a, a um, you still pluck it but as you can see it's a lot different okay that's that dampening effect as it smooths out and let's run that other plot and it's a lot different but uh, this is a very nice way because you can see what it's doing in each one of the instruments and and, and it's like uh, it's like, I almost like to call it almost like a, it's like a prism uh, you know like a prism separates light into their different frequencies into different colors well what, what we're doing here we're doing something similar not the same but it's similar and, and you can see the different frequencies when you when you uh, hear an instrument you uh, the human ear is able to hear the difference in frequency and just like we can see the different colors after the light goes through a prism this is it's a, they're all part of the, the electromagnetic wave as you we all learn in physics and this last one right here is you can also tweak it to to use one of these data and do this one this one I did it I didn't want to do another download or another instrument so what I did I pick you can change the data points like you can start let's say with 10 data points and you can see you can see what it does the imaginary part the real part as you remember from from your math class uh, signs are the imaginary cosines are the real and let's do the 100 point data points now and let's hit enter and you can see the change in the real and the imaginary and the FK square and now let's do a thousand points with this one you can see it more clearly and there you go and you you get it uh, uh, and all it's using is the same ones we use for the image uh, in the last tutorial the FFT, FFT frequency, FFT shift right out of NumPy um, and in the next tutorial we'll be doing it but in two dimensions I wanted to show you what it does in one dimension so uh, but in the next tutorial we'll do it in two dimensions and we uh, apply it directly to images using computer vision and OpenCV and uh, like I said like I always say if you like this tutorial pre please click the like box and subscribe and I will see you next time thank you for watching bye bye